morning, Keisuke. New day, new round. Get up. It's time to go to the classroom. You do. Brush your teeth and come out. Watching all the participants to make sure nothing happens. Listen, you don't need to know all the details for now. There is a camera in our room as well. Everyone is a little crazy. <laughs> Take your seat. Today will be slightly harder than yesterday. Your semen seems to stand out from the rest. It has given a significant boost to my indicators. Maybe soon. Wasn't a virgin, although you probably don't even know how it works. Okay, let's go.
dare you? This is unbelievable. You're too lucky. Only a few passed the second round. How strong can you be? All right then, it's time to reward you. kinds of activities, right? Lie down on the beds. I'll be back in a few seconds. <laughs> Keisuke, are you awake already? I was waiting for you to come out and look at this oil painting. Or rather, a blood painting. <laughs> You gave me this power. Okay, that sounds like an excuse. Okay, Ske, you still don't understand where you are. Okay. This will be your last gift. So, where do 
do I start? We are in a subsidiary building of the XXX Corporation. Officially, they are developing perfect human DNA. But who believes that, right? Nobody knows exactly when this organization was founded. But what we do know is that in 20XX, it made a splash in the world because of its unethical practices. But who cares when? Scientists were desperate to experiment with genetic engineering, and they had to bypass unethical experiments. And bureaucracy, of course, adds fuel to the fire. Okay, what was I talking about? Ah, yes! The real goal is the personal interest of Mrs. Ishibashi. Namely, the search for an ideal partner for the purpose of procreation. There are rumors that she killed her ugly son and shot his father. After that, she founded this company. in here in a dying state and treat it. Our revolvers were blank. On top of that, you're on antipsychotic medication right now. Of course you don't feel it, but these fumes are all around us. Take this reality as given. I will continue. We, the guides, were created from Mrs. Ishibashi's DNA and you. Since we come from the pure blood of the lady, we are more fortunate than you, ordinary trash. Every year, millions of mature boys die in this experiment. But as you can see, there are always exceptions, Keisuke. When you came inside me for the first time, I didn't immediately feel the power you carried. I didn't believe in these fairy tales, but after a while, I realized that you... were an ideal sample for the lady. Everything in the universe is determined, and so are our roles. You are the key, I am the lock. Isn't that right? There is nothing you can do about it. Everything has its own fate, Keisuke.
worried about them? An order has come from above to clear the building. Just legal nuances. If you hadn't shot so much sperm into me last night, they would have sent a more successful guide. And I really want to play with you one last time. It's coming to an end. Imagine what would happen if all participants were released. Not even a speck of the current world will remain. Everything will remain behind the walls of this building. Let's stop talking. We have unfinished business. Last round. Really? Are you boycotting me? After I killed half the building for you? You're not being a gentleman, Keisuke. In any case, we are given time before the lady's people burst in here and take you to her. We can just stand here, or... If you win, I'll tell you the rest of the story. If you want, of course. Fantastic! Last round, I'm sure you won't let me down. <laughs> Keisuke, you passed the final test. <laughs> you are truly special. So, you deserve to know a little more. Remember what I said about the lady's DNA? We are her blood and flesh, and you, Keisuke, you are the blood and flesh of us, the guides. After the first unsuccessful son, the lady tried to get pregnant again and again, but it was all in vain. It was then that she devised a plan to get herself a son and a husband in one. To 
when she herself could no longer have children, she decided to share this with her clone. And thus, the chance of successful genes grew exponentially. That's why we had to do sweet, naughty things with you. Even if you died, I would carry your child, who would have a chance of lucky genes. Waste reproduction! <laughs> They haven't learned how to bring people back from the dead yet. All your memories are safe. You were born here, on one of the lower floors. Technically, by one of my sisters. There you have it. Clever. I've dreamed about this for so long. If only you knew how many times I've tried to kill myself. In my 20 years, I've given birth. Pleasure to play with you. 